Okay, today I'm going to do some experimenting with some ceramic tiles. I've got several different paints mixed up. This is something new too. I've mixed all my paints up in big bottles. Uh, it's the first time I've done that. So I've got several colors already pre-mixed up. Use my paint recipe, the same percentages that I always use that's in my little paint recipe calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a ring pour over here. Over here I'm going to do just a silicone uh, paints with silicone in it and just do a flip cup and then over here I'm going to do a swipe with silicone in it. So I'm going to go over here and start first on this one. And I'm just experimenting to see what comes out good. I haven't used uh, acrylic paints on the uh, ceramic tiles yet. So over here I've got some these are three custom colors that I made up. It's a purple purple and a blue green and an orange. I don't know how orange my orange is. I think it's going to be more of a I don't know, kind of a weird color. Okay, there's that one. So I'm gonna put a little black in. If you get, make sure I got that in the camera. A little bit of black, a little bit of silicone, a little bit of green, and a couple drops, a little bit of white. I'll go back. My black, my green, and my white. And I'll go ahead and put a couple more drops of silicone in there. So I'm just going to flip this one. Actually, I'm going to, I, I messed this up. I'm going to do my flip pour with this one, I guess. Because my swipe, I'm going to do different. And let that sit for a second. Okay, so I just need to try and get that, get all my sides covered here. Move that around a little. Get that back level. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and torch this. Come around here on the other side. I'll torch this one. Just make sure I don't have any bubbles in it. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to do my primary colors on this one. And I'm going to try something different. I'm going to put 
drops of silicone actually on my surface and then I'm going to pour my colors and then I got this little tool out of the way. I got this little spatula tool. I'm going to turn this sideways where I can do that more the direction I want. I'm going to swap them this way first and get coverage. Uh, the silicone is not going to work good directly on the thing I don't think because it's not letting the paint adhere. Hopefully I can get that to move around to the side. Okay, now I'm going to go swap that way, so I'm going to swap this way real light. Yeah, that kind of muddied my colors a little. Hopefully the torch will help bring those back out. I should have left it at the one swipe. Yeah, just a little. Kyle's trying to show through on this one. Should have left this one with one swipe. But, as I said before, this is an experiment. Really, really like this one. The uh, flip cup with the black, green, white really come out cool. I may do a, I need me to do me a full painting with that one. I'm going to see if I can drag some of that muddiness. Matter of fact, I'm going to add a little bit more color in here and see if I can get rid of some of that mud on that one side. Do a real light drag that way. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, little spots where that stuff is trying to shine through. There, that takes care of those. Hit my sides one more time. And I bought some four inch cork off of uh, Amazon so when these things dry hopefully by in tomorrow morning they'll be dry enough and I can put the cork on them I may have to let them dry a little bit longer than that I'm really not sure so that ended up being pretty cool but that wasn't the best spot ever but uh, Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to adjust my GoPro and give you some better close-ups of these. There's that one. There's that one. And there's that one. So anyway, so I'm going to let these things set up, and then uh, I'll 
see if they're dry enough in the morning I'll put the cork on them and then I'll show them to you at some different angles where I can pick them up and show them to you up close okay these things have dried for I guess dried about 24 hours now maybe a little bit less but they're dry to the touch now uh, of course this one it's it's not shiny anymore this paint kind of mats a little bit when it dries but I'm gonna give these things probably at least a week or so till I know that they're completely dry and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put a clear epoxy top over them which will bring the brightness and the colors back out these still look pretty shiny because of all the silicone that was in them so anyway I'm real happy with them uh, I, I, I wanna I'm gonna do some more different stuff with these do some of these now I got silicone on that one too off my fingers uh, I'm gonna do some epoxy ones I've been playing around with that a little bit having trouble getting the epoxy to stick to the tile because it's so shiny so I'm gonna try some different materials and some different methods on that so anyway I'm real happy with them this one I really like that one came out really cool I like the color combination I'm gonna do a painting with that color now too these with my custom colors that I mixed and it came out really cool too they're all just different I just want to do some experimenting on different things and the swipe ended up being pretty cool too I got some cool patterns in it some cool cells nothing real big but it's got some cool looking cells in it so anyway I appreciate you watching uh, please like please subscribe and please share my videos thank you bye